Good morning, everybody. Michael the Maven, and today I'm going to tell you about a fun little experiment I did with my dad's almost 50 year old camera. I went over to pick up an X-T3 he, and he gave me his camera from Vietnam. This is a Konica Autoflex T. It's a film camera, all mechanical, no battery, and it's almost 50 years old. This is really interesting to me because the lens was in spectacular shape. He had a UV filter on it. And so when I took it off, it was in pristine condition. And knowing a little bit about old lenses, I knew that I could adapt it. Now, I own a 3D printer, which basically takes spools of plastic and I can create things. And I've done this before. And you can find downloadable adapters for lenses just like this, the Konica to Sony. And that's what I did. So literally downloaded the file, printed up the adapter. Sometimes I make my own adapters, but this one was available. Printed it up and I took some sample shots using a nearly 50 year old lens on my Sony a7 III and I did some comparison shots side by side with a Canon 1.8 adapted by a Metabones adapter, which the adapter is expensive, right? So I'm going to show you three images and I want you to compare them side by side and try to guess which one was taken with the 50 year old lens versus the Canon lens. And I will show you the answers after you do that little test. So what I'm seeing is obviously this is manual focus. When I'm adapting it, there's no auto focusing. The aperture control is manual so you can dial it in. When I was shooting, obviously I had to take more shots because I wasn't really sure when I was in focus or not at 1.8, but I really like the bokeh on this lens a lot. It gives it a different quality. The, the contrast obviously is not as good. I wasn't as impressed with that, but it had a completely different feel to it, a very, very soft look and the eyes could still be sharp enough when I dialed it in. So the reason why I'm telling you all this is that many of you are on a budget and you may have a need for a low light lens. There are a tremendous number of wide aperture lenses for sale on eBay, old lenses that, you know, the cameras are just obsolete. And there are a ton of adapters that you can use to adapt these over. So you could get a low light lens if you're okay manually focusing for 50, 60 bucks up and running no problem, all day long. Maybe you're gonna be at a garage sale, maybe you're just gonna be browsing, you're gonna see something on eBay. There are tons of articles that talk about adapting older lenses onto cameras. I was thrilled to be able to take a picture with my dad's old lens of my nephew, which is his grandson. It's just a lot of fun, I'm gonna hang on to it. But that is your lesson for the day. Tons of great, cheap, wide aperture lenses that you can adapt to your modern camera if you are willing to get the adapter and you're willing to manually focus. So in any event, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear your questions and I will see you next time.